Hello everyone. In this video I introduce a magnet cleaning device of my own design and discuss its merits compared with other methods of cleaning Zen magnets. The north and south poles of magnets attract ferric dirt particles. These iron particles become trapped between adjacent magnets which attract pole to pole. As adjacent magnets move against each other, these particles quickly erode the magnetic coatings, especially at the poles. These particles find their way onto magnets from contact with dirty hands and dirty surfaces. Ferric particles are also released from the coatings of the magnets themselves as they wear against each other, especially while kneading, grinding, or smashing magnets forcibly against each other. The coatings on Zen magnets are harder and smoother than coatings on other brands, but even Zen magnet coatings can wear away. <clears throat> In my early months as a Zen magnets user, I used my magnets on a hard formica surface and wore a visible ring around magnet equators by sliding magnet chains along this surface. To minimize wear on your magnets, it's important to protect them from dirt, to avoid kneading them, to wash your hands before using them, and to work on a clean surface that is softer than the magnetic coatings. Some accumulation of ferric particles on the magnets is inevitable. These ferric particles accumulate at the north and south poles of the magnets where they are attracted most strongly by the magnetic force. The removal of these particles is the subject of this video. First, a review of techniques that folks have used to clean magnets. <clears throat> the Zen Magnets website suggests a simple cleaning method to simply roll individual magnets around on tape, silly putty, sticky tack, cleaning putty, or the like. Magnet Nerd cleans a sheet of magnets using duct tape. The Zen Magnets website also suggests using a cloth to clean magnets and supplies microfiber cloths for this purpose. This can be done either with a chain with magnets alternating on either side of the cloth or with a chain of magnets all on one side of the cloth. Some have used soap and water to clean magnets. Eraser X uses paper to clean a chain of magnets, one magnet at a time, by sandwiching the paper between two magnets and wiping off the dirt between them by sliding them along the paper. This removes little more than half of the dirt. To remove most of the rest of the dirt, you have to tip the chain over and do it again so that the total time required per magnet is about five seconds. I have used this technique to clean thousands of magnets. Megaz Monty uses a similar technique substituting tape for paper. My magnet cleaner is a slab of reinforced pine with 25 channels, each holding a chain of 100 magnets. A sliding frame is used to move the magnets into position for cleaning, with 25 steel rods glued to the left side of the frame to draw the magnets along. To clean magnets, slide the frame to center the contact points of 25 pairs of magnets above a slot cut through the slab, and insert a microfiber cloth through the slot to clean these 25 contact points moving the cloth both upward and downward through the slot. Then slide the frame to center the next set of contact points above the slot, etc. A strip of thin aluminum flashing to which the microfiber cloth is taped provides the framework that enables the microfiber cloth to be pushed through the contact points. This device can be used to clean 2500 magnets in 35 minutes 
which amounts to 0.85 seconds per magnet. In contrast, cleaning 2500 magnets using Eraser X's paper technique takes over three hours. Thus, compared with Eraser X's technique, my technique is more effective in removing ferric particles and is five times faster. A large aluminum sheet covers the channels to the right of the slot, and a thin strip of aluminum sheeting covers the channels to the left of the slot to prevent magnets from leaving their channels as the microfiber cloth is brought up through the slot. At the start, all of the magnets are covered by the large aluminum sheet. The tray moves right to left, exposing more and more magnets. Strips of 1 8 inch thick aluminum confine these exposed magnets to their channels. This procedure cleans the magnets so well that repeating the procedure for the same 25 magnet pairs produces a negligible amount of dirt. So once is enough. And speaking of once is enough, after using a microfiber cloth to clean 2500 magnets, it's pretty much shredded and you have to use another one to clean the next 2500. Luckily these cloths are just a few dollars each. You can demonstrate the effectiveness of my technique by using Eraser X's technique to attempt to remove dirt from magnets after cleaning them with my technique. As you can see, no dirt is visible on the paper. The legs fold up nicely for storage when you're finished. I now demonstrate the operation of the device by cleaning 2500 magnets in 35 minutes, which amounts to 0.85 seconds per magnet. I alternate the polarities of successive magnet chains as I place them in their channels, so their magnetic fields largely cancel. This produces a more stable magnetic configuration. I use a 3 16 inch wooden dowel to push the magnet chains up to the slot. Once the magnets are clean, I move the frame all the way to the right and insert the microfiber cloth into the slot between the left ends of the magnet chains and the right ends of the steel rods. Then I move the frame to the left to separate the chains from the rods. Then I draw the chains out from under the aluminum sheet using a five and a half inch length of three sixteenth inch diameter steel rod and I put them back on the spool. Since this procedure does not clean the right side of the rightmost magnet on each chain, I remove these 25 rightmost magnets from the chains and add them to the next batch of magnets to be cleaned. Thus the procedure fully cleans 25 magnets short of 2500 magnets for a total of 2475 magnets. The watch reads just over 35 minutes. Thanks for watching.